Hi everybody, uh, so now uh, I will evaluate the terms of obviousness, obviousness and anticipation as well as prior art among the other ones. So the question as to how to ascertain obvious is quite difficult, but the standard embodied in the industry is if someone who has ordinary skill in the art deems it to be quite clear or already an industry standard, then it is not complicated enough to warrant a patent or unique enough. So then the question becomes, who has ordinary skill in the art? So that too isn't straightforward. So depending on the subject matter, the qualifications could vary drastically. So let's say the patent is in nuclear engineering. So maybe the person with ordinary skill in the art is someone with a bachelor's. But if the patent was involving, let's say, an ice cream cone, then it could be a five-year-old. So that's one complication. Furthermore, not only is the basis of not being obvious enough, or not being obvious enough to receive a patent, but there has to be no prior art on the invention. Um, so what that basically means is that there can be no details, no diagrams, no descriptions of your idea exactly. And this has been much easier to find given uh, the digital age as it was like, you know, even 20, 30 years ago before there was any, you know, large scale information on the web or even any web at all. So next, the concept of anticipation comes into play. So even if there is no prior art of your uh, idea exactly, there can be an idea which uh, was a predecessor of your own or what would be deemed as a predecessor of your own. So your idea would be a natural extension of the other person's idea as determined by a person of ordinary skill in the art. Uh, so now, in relation to the sleeve technology, there was a few surprising and drastic innovations uh, from something that seemed really simple to me. So, for instance, the first few iterations of the design of the sleeve cup were quite similar and perhaps could have been argued for being anticipatory uh, given the previous patents. However, I believe that the uh, a frame of perspective has to be placed on the exact item being innovated when determining the degree of innovation possible. So, for instance, you know, there's only so much you can do with the sleeve, but the uh, capabilities you can do with uh, a sleeve have to be placed relative to one another. So, even if the change isn't extremely drastic, it is drastic within that frame of reference, if that makes any sense. And uh, I found uh, the most interesting the use of the temperature reading technology uh, because I've burned my lips like multiple times on really hot beverages, and that would be something really good to know. So I found that one the most interesting and the most innovative and felt like a jerk. So uh, thank you for watching. See you later.